St. John is a very industrial but beautiful city in southern New Brunswick. We are home to the largest oil refinery in Canada, North America's first deep water oil terminal, a pulp and paper mill, a tissue plant, and a very active port. While the Department of the Environment continues to work with companies to ensure that they are taking the necessary steps to operate within the approved limits and to minimize environmental impacts, there's a sense of distrust between the residents and these companies. We think that St. John is a very beautiful city with so much to offer, but that we are often perceived as dirty or polluted. We want people to come to St. John, get out and explore our amazing city. We want our residents to have easy access to reliable, live data, visually mapping out the various air quality related variables. We want our residents to trust the Department of Environment and the work being done by industry. In the first part of this project, we brainstormed ways to use STEM to help solve this problem. A system with low cost air quality sensors like air dust, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, temperature, humidity, ultraviolet light, and air pressure were connected to a single board microcomputer. The microcomputers were then programmed to read the sensors, connect to Wi Fi, and transmit this data to a spreadsheet application and mapping interface. Significant calibration and testing was done before deployment. Our original design of doing this was uh, plastic Tupperware and everything, we decided to do it with uh, 3D printing. In the second part of this project, we developed a camera system and connected the same sensors to a shield that could relay data through the cellular network. The system does not rely on a Wi-Fi connection and will allow for greater deployment to more remote areas. A plan to launch the whole system into the upper atmosphere with a high altitude balloon was developed. Work focused on the sensitivity of the system below and above room temperature, prototyping a new payload container and creating a parachute. Significant attention was also paid to GPS tracking and flight path prediction. Our new system will allow us to track the balloon. After testing GPS tracking, we decide to launch our balloon in early June. This research, development and testing of a working prototype to monitor air quality in real time has the potential to provide reliable, quantitative sampling for as large a region as required. These devices can benefit our population by remotely sensing emissions and visually reporting levels to residents. Because of their low cost, they are suitable for widespread use. The deployment of systems capable of integrating multiple sensor streams and wireless communications has the potential to advance air quality research and management. Future work should focus on refinements to sampling rates and installation of solar panels so that the systems can operate even in remote areas with no access to power.